our aortic, pulmonary, tricuspid, and mitral. Our temporal, carotid, brachial, radial, femoral, popliteal, dorsalis pedius, and posterior tibial. You have the tunica externa, the tunica media, and the tunica interna. Ascending aorta and the descending aorta in the aortic arch. And then you have the right coronary artery, which is right here, the left coronary artery. And then you have the brachiocephalic trunk, the left common carotid artery, and the left subclavian artery. Abdominal aorta is the celiac trunk, and then you have the superior mesotrenic artery and the gon or in the inferior mesotrenic artery, and you have the gondal artery. You have the common carotid arteries. You have the vertebrae arteries, and then the facial arteries, which are by the mandible, and then the basilar arteries. For the arteries to the shoulder and the upper limb, you have the brachiocephalic arteries, the subclavian arteries, the axillary arteries to the brachial arteries, and then you're going to go down follow this to the pinky, which is the ulnar arteries and then the radial arteries, which is the thumb. The common iliac arteries, the internal iliac arteries, and the external iliac arteries. Follow that down to the femoral arteries, to the popliteal arteries, to the anterior artery, and then this is the posterior tibial artery, and then down here you have the dorsal lalis pedius artery. The pulmonary veins, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, hepatic vein, and over here we have the purple is the hepatic portal vein. We have the renal vein and the right and the left gonadal veins, the internal jugular veins go into the external jugular veins and the facial veins. And then over here we have the brachiocephalic veins into the subclavian veins, axillary veins, brachial veins basilic veins, median cubital veins, the ulnar veins, the radial veins, and over here we have the common iliac veins, the femoral veins, and the great saphenous veins.